Hey guys, Adam Young here. I'm going to talk in this video about keeping that lead arm straight because it is a very hot topic. Lots of amateurs are trying to do it. I believe many uh, could be causing themselves injury or you know even inconsistencies in the future, even if they strike it better in the moment. And so I'm going to talk a little bit more on some of the advanced topics surrounding keeping the lead arm straight. Now, if you're to just look at the top pros, or some of the top pros at least, and you pause them in impact, yes, many of them have a, a very straight lead arm. But many of them don't. You know, I'll post up some pictures here of guys who don't. And lots of it is a 3D illusion as well, because if, if you get the correct angle, if I open my chest out and flex my arm there, it might look to the camera, I don't know if you can see it there, but it might look to the camera from a certain view as if the lead arm is straight, yet when we look at it from the right camera angle, you can see there's a flex to it. So many pros, even the ones who look as if they have their lead arm straight, actually have a slight bend to it. I know you guys are thinking, Adam's gone crazy again, he's talking blasphemy, this is completely against what I read in Golf Digest, but hear me out. I'm not necessarily saying try to bend your left arm, but I am saying if it is occurring, you might not want to change it necessarily. Now, the caveat to that is I'm not talking about guys who come into impact and they look like this. Okay, if you look like that, you probably could do with a little bit more width. But I do see a lot of golfers who might be here, a little bit of flex, and they're panicking about it and they're trying to change it to their own detriment in many times. Now let's simplify this. There could be two reasons why someone might straighten their arm or have a straight arm. I'm going to talk about the amateur way. So the amateur way might be that they are trying to force their arm straight. So basically the force is in that direction. They're, they're trying to push that arm really straight and some, some people even hyperextend the lead arm. So what could the pros be doing that's different? Or is there a different way of looking about this at least? Yes, there is. Now when you swing this club, as the pros do at 100 mile an hour with a seven iron, or many of them do, so you can imagine as that club is coming down, it reaches 100 mile an hour there. This club effectively weighs somewhere between 100 and 150 pounds. So you can imagine there's 150 pounds pulling that way. And if you look at the shoulder, the lead shoulder of most professionals, they are moving it up and back rapidly. And there are reasons for that. It creates lots of good stuff at the bottom. I go through that in my Next Level Golf program. Uh, it creates lots of speed as well, a nice little shallow angle of attack. It also reduces injury in the forearms. And so think about that. If you've got 140 pounds pulling, pulling this way and the lead shoulder is pulling that way, What's gonna to happen to the lead arm? Even if that were a piece of string, it's gonna become taut. It's going to straighten. Not because the pro is actively trying to push that way, it's the opposite. They're actually trying to pull with their shoulder the other way. So they're two very different ways of looking at it. And now the second way, the, the, what I would define as the pro way, has many more benefits to it. In fact, the disadvantages to trying to force a lead arm straight there are so many, I could spend an hour on that. I mean, it can change someone's sequence, it can tighten the shoulder muscles up so they start to pull down with the, the shoulder too early. Uh, it can cause injury and impact. So players, and this is what I suffered with, you know, I try to force those, that arm straight at impact and it creates more stress. When you hit the ground, as you should in a good golf swing, but when you contact the ground and you're forcing that lead arm straight, there's a lot of tension that goes on here. And now this is anecdotal, but I've noticed a very high correlation between people who come to me on the lesson tee with bandages around their arms because they're suffering tennis elbow or golfer's elbow. And I ask them, I say, what, what do you think about the left arm? Should it be poker straight or should you flex it? And they say, yeah, I'm trying to keep it straight. There's a very high correlation there. And as I said, it happened, the injury happened in myself. Now there are also certain matchups that should occur if you're going to have a, a straighter left arm. And many times if someone tries to force that lead arm straight, it'll make them worse. So for example, I recently saw a player who was suffering with a shank shot and they're saying, I'm trying to keep my arm straight. Well, I can tell you, all else being equal, if you were at impact and you were shanking it and you have a flexed lead arm and then you force that lead arm straight, you will shank it worse or even miss the ball. 
So that player's unconscious was trying to flex the arm because they had to. They wouldn't play golf otherwise. So your unconscious might be doing that, might be flexing the lead arm for a reason. Again, the answer there is not to try and straighten the lead arm, but I told that player to add other matchups. He needed to be more rotated open, which pulled that lead shoulder back in this direction, which would straighten the lead arm. So doing it that way, my way or my suggested way, would actually improve speed, improve face consistency, path consistency, sweet spot consistency. Uh, it would straighten their arm for them, not that that was the goal. Um, and it would, it would do it in a way that, as I said, it, not only would it make a more consistent strike, but it would be a better quality strike because that shank pattern would now become more toe biased because as you open the body out, you can see that heel gets pulled away from the golf ball. Now, here's an interesting one. A, a flex lead arm can also be a good matchup, I suppose, or a compensation, others might call it, for a, a very open face throughout the swing. So often you'll see a player with a really open, open face, they would, if they came down and looked like a pro, they would send it 90, 90 yards right. And so what they've learned to do is stall out the body rotation, come down through impact, and try and fold everything in an attempt to square the face back up. So again, if you force that player to, to have a lead arm that's straight, they would hit it worse. They would hit, probably hit it 90 yards right. Now on the complete opposite side of the scale, I've seen players with very strong grips, closed faces at the top of the swing coming down and what they do is swing into out and they hold off the face rotation for a very long time and so that lead arm folds but it does so in a way where that top or the logo of the glove is facing the sky so it looks like a chicken wing now it's not necessarily a bad thing that that lead arm folds but most pros will have some face rotation and when you have the fold in combination with the face rotation, it looks more like this, which is what more pros would look like. So the folding is not necessarily a bad thing for that player. Um, and if they try and keep that lead arm straight, it might actually cause more of a hook. So for example, if that player, instead of doing this, tried to add rotation and get into that look that the pros have, they're gonna snap hook it left. So both an open face in the downswing and a very closed face can create certain looks with the arms that actually serve that player. And it's until they change the face in the preceding parts of the swing, they, they can't change the impact or the, the lead arm look later on because it'll make them worse. Another reason why a player may have a lead arm that is folding, that's actually serving them, is if you imagine a player who for whatever reason is gonna hit a fat shot. So you can see I'm gonna hit a fat shot here with a straight lead arm. Well, if I were to fold that lead arm, what happens is the ground contact can actually move forwards. Maybe not in the right way. As I said, I'm not, I wouldn't say to many players that that should be an intervention they could use but maybe that player is using that because of other parts of their body aren't moving. Now, a great player, Lee Westwood, I mean, he's got so many wins under his belt, I don't know how many, but uh, I know it's a lot. And he was not one for really moving that lead shoulder up and back, like most pros do, like say Tiger Woods was known for doing. So Lee Westwood at impact was a little bit more shoulders level at impact. And so for him, if he had a straight lead arm, he would fat it. He would just hit it straight into the ground. So he learned to fold that lead arm in order to get the ground contact correct. Probably not a conscious thing for him, but if you were to go in and try and straighten Lee Westwood's lead arm, he would probably hit it worse. Well, he'd definitely hit it worse unless something else changed in the swing. So that's just another example of where if you're to force a lead arm straight, it could actually make a player worse. So I hope this video just makes you think a little bit more critically about why a player has a straight arm if they do or why the pros if they do have a straight arm if they indeed do because there are many who don't depending on what angle you look at or what pro you use there's, there's lots of guys who don't there are even many advantages to actually flexing the lead arm or trying to trying being the operative word there and i go through that in my program next level golf but there are also many disadvantages to trying to force that arm straight there are things that it, it might make you worse even if it makes you better, it could be the wrong way of looking at it. So as I said, if you take a top, a player who has a decent lead arm, but for whatever reason, they're topping the ball, 
and they try and force that lead arm straight, they might hit better shots now, but there can be many disadvantages to what that player is trying to do, and there could have been a better way of fixing that top shot.